So we did a, a study in which we compare uh, plasma P tau to 17 to non-phosphorylated uh, tau to 17, uh, which is a mass spectrometry based uh, measure in blood, which we know that is uh, highly accurate more than immunoassays. And what we check is whether we can use these measures as good as um, a PET scan um, to assess amyloid or tau pathology in cognitively impaired participants, which is the current population that could go into a drug uh, in the countries that it's, it's allowed. And what we show is that uh, the, there was no significant difference on the agreement between CSF uh, approved by FDA and EMA um, to PET compared to this plasma biomarker, which suggests that we can we could use already this plasma biomarker to include participants in drug uh, treatments already, because it's as good as the methods that are already approved. We also did another study in which we recruit um, participants from primary and secondary clinics in which we show a very similar results in which we showed that the accuracy of these plasma biomarkers was um, around 90% when used uh, alone uh, against Alzheimer's disease pathology, uh, even in this kind of unselected uh, population with a lot of uh, co-pathologies and not this kind of cohort selected uh, individuals, which suggests that this is already kind of almost ready for uh, clinical uh, work. Of course, this has to be reproduced and try to uh, be done in other kind of population and more heterogeneous. But this is, I would say, the first step into moving blood biomarkers into the clinics.